first shotgun you encounter in the game is simply called shotgun. It is modeled after the Remington 870. You can find this weapon in the village you first encounter for free, but you can also purchase it later for 20,000 pesetas. If you purchase the shotgun, it will cost you a total of 277,000 pesetas to upgrade it as well. But if you get it for free, then you can take 20,000 off of that price. To start the game on easy mode, you automatically start with the shotgun like you would the handgun. Once fully upgraded, you'll have a firepower of 8.0, firing speed of 1.53 seconds, a reloading speed of 1.67 seconds, and a capacity of 18 shells. The exclusive upgrade gives the shotgun tremendous range, and it takes down most Ganados in one shot, while some mini bosses several shots. Keep in mind this video was re recorded on normal difficulty, so a shot to kill ratio might vary on other difficulties. The second shotgun in the game is called Riot Gun, and it is available to purchase once you enter the castle for the first time in Chapter 3-1. The Riot Gun is modeled after a hybrid of the Benelli M3 Super 90 and the Benelli M4. It costs 32,000 pesetas to buy and a total of 415,000 pesetas to fully upgrade. Once fully upgraded, the Riot Gun has a firepower of 8.0, firing speed of 1.53 seconds, a reloading speed of 1.67 seconds, and a capacity of 17 shells. The exclusive upgrade takes the firepower to 10.0. Compared to the other shotguns, the Riot Gun has a tighter pellet spread, therefore it can kill targets at further ranges. The Riot Gun is the most expensive shotgun to upgrade, but also the most powerful shotgun. It can take out Plaga Heads in one shot at mid-range and kills many bosses with ease. The third and final shotgun you encounter in the game is the Striker. The Striker is modeled after the Arm Cell Protecta. You can purchase the Striker for the Merchant in Chapter 4-1 for 43,000 pesetas. It takes a total of 392,000 pesetas to buy and fully upgrade the Striker. Once upgraded, the Striker has a firepower of 12.0, firing speed of 1.10 seconds, reloading speed of 1.67 seconds, and a capacity of 28 shells. This exclusive upgrade takes the total capacity to 100 shells. Even though the Striker shows it has more damage than the Riot Gun, it actually does less due to its range. The gun really shines at point blank distances and is almost useless at longer ranges. In Ada's campaign, Separate Ways, you are able to purchase this shotgun, also simply just called Shotgun. It is modeled after the Mossberg 500. You cannot upgrade this weapon, so what you see is what you get. It will set you back 21,440 pesetas. It has a firepower of 5.0, firing speed of 1.53 seconds, a reloading speed of 3.03 seconds, and a capacity of 12 rounds. Since you are unable to upgrade this weapon, it is fairly weak compared to the other shotguns that Leon can use. However, it is the only shotgun you can use in separate ways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I had to choose a favorite shotgun in this game, I'd probably go with the Riot Gun due to its high damage and longer ranges. However, the Shiker is a fun gun to use since you hardly ever have to reload it with the 100 round capacity. Check the description of the video for playlists to all types of videos I've already done for Resident Evil 4. I previously did a video like this for the pistols. So up next will probably be the rifles and magnums. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more. Thank you all for watching. Where's everyone going? Bingo?